Karen Chandler has had a reputation for harboring materialistic and selfish motives when it comes to her intentions behind dating and eventually marrying Matt Roloff. Starting as one of his employees, Karen began working on the farm as Matt's assistant for 10 years before acquiring a spot on one of the best reality TV shows. Matt used to be married to Amy Roloff, with whom he bought a farmhouse in 1990 to create Roloff Farms, which has since exploded in popularity to become a huge tourist destination in Oregon. Karen experienced her own divorce from Joseph Chandler, whom she was married to for 20 years until 2012. Matt and Amy split in 2016, giving Karen four years to present herself as a single and available outlet for Matt in his marital troubles. Having had two children with Joseph, Karen was likely looking for a way to financially support her children following the dissolution of her marriage, which is where Matt and the potential value of selling his farm came in during season 25 of Little People, Big World. When Matt acquired the family farm in 1990, a succession was well established with Zatch slated to take over after Matt was ready to retire. That is why it took the entire family, most notably Zach, by surprise when Matt decided to list 16 acres of the market without consulting anyone. Zatch was understandably offended, and although he has not publicly placed blame on Karen, her lack of interest in taking on the responsibility of managing the Roloff Farms was not a secret and presumably influenced Matt and Karen's decisions which tore the family apart. Although Karen would not have been involved if Zatch were to take over, she would have lost a large sum of money which she felt entitled to. That money most likely appealed to both Matt and Karen as potential funding for their new home, which they started to build during Little People, Big World Season 25. It goes without saying that Zatch was well aware of the financial incentive Matt and Karen gained by removing him from the equation. Given that he refused to talk about Matt and Karen's engagement with the producers during a confessional moment later in the season, expensive new homes seem to point that way. It is no secret that Matt has a desirable amount of money from the farm and the 25 seasons of Little People, Big World which he has starred in, and Karen is benefiting from that with new homes in both Oregon and Arizona. Karen also posts on Instagram quite frequently to share updates about what she refers to as quick getaways in Cabo. While she may be enjoying a new lavish life, her new expensive two-story home lacked accessibility for Matt to the upstairs bedroom, which displayed a priority for Matt's money over his company in her life. Not only did Matt likely support Karen financially in getting her home, but he also gave her authority throughout the process of building his new and expensive home. Karen told Matt, it's still always going to be your house that we're gonna share in Little People, Big World Season 25, Episode 2, Get Your Girlfriend Straight. While this sounds like a fair sentiment, Matt went on to say that when he finds a product he likes, he first consults Karen about where she doesn't want it. Given how much he's spending, Matt should get the first and final say about where anything goes. They needed to face their family difficulties, on their new podcast, Raising Heights, Tori says that she and Zach are not dramatic enough. They go on to say that the farm deal forced Zach to become the messenger between his father and mother, which consequently means that Karen and Matt's heartless actions involving the deal contributed to Zach and Tori's departure. Zach claims that he has never been uncomfortable in a financially materialistic way and that leaving the show is an opportunity to move on and pursue open doors which they may not pursue otherwise, unlike Karen, who still seeks to reap the show's financial benefits. In another podcast episode, Zach says that his relationship with Matt is non-existent and that although the dust has settled since they stopped filming, nothing has been fixed. Zach never got along with Karen in the first place and goes on to say that Matt and Karen are still in denial thinking they've done nothing wrong, which communicates a narcissism that he must have put his foot down against. Leaving little people, Big World challenged Matt and Tori to distance themselves from Karen's out-of-control ego, which clearly has in part caused the farm drama. Why Tori Roloff's dad did not like Zach. Tori Roloff and Zach Roloff are no longer on Little People, Big World, but on their new podcast. TLC fans get to know them a lot better. 
Recently, she revealed that her dad was not keen on her dating Zach when she first met him. Tori Roloff gets candid about marrying a little person. On their Raising Heights podcast, the LPBW alums have been revealing more about dating and her early relationship with Zach Roloff. In the first season, they talked about meeting and marrying kids and other events. Plus, TLC fans found out that they still don't see much of Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler. In their recent episode, Zach Roloff's wife talked about how she didn't like dating short men before she met her husband of nearly 10 years. Tori Roloff described how she hated dating short men. For some reason, she just never gave them a chance. Turning up her nose if they were short, she dissed them. Only tall guys needed to apply by the sound of it. So it seems amazing that she ended up marrying a little person. That might only further speculation that she married Zach for a bit of TV fame. Little People, Big World Star's dad was not keen on Zach Roloff. After talking about how she wasn't usually interested in dating short men, the TLC alum moved on and spoke about her dad and the rest of her family. Surprised that she dated a little person, he expressed his concern. She said to Zach, I can remember getting ready to go on a date with you and saying who you were and showing him a picture of you and him being like, no, what are you talking about? This is not the guy I picture for you. He literally asked, like, are you sure? Multiple times. He was like, I don't know about this. But then he met you, and I joke all the time, but pretty sure my dad likes you better than me now. My whole family likes you more. In the comments on YouTube, fans discussed Tori Roloff and her family. Here are some of their opinions. Height should not matter. Being honest, loyal, and caring is all that should matter. I am glad that you guys are so open and honest about your relationships and your lives. Zach has such a chill and even keel personality. Great husband qualities. I can't remember many men tall or short that have so much intelligence and understanding than Zach. This man is so knowledgeable and loving. Something you touched on Tori resonated with me and I echo your sentiments. I almost wrote off my now husband when we first met because of his height. Height was a big deal in my family. But I worried but guess what? The world doesn't care so I found out. There are places for A-V-E-R-A-H-E-I-T. I am both short and disabled so I know how that feels. I was told that I had to be around my normal